In this video, we're going to focus on acceleration and we'll talk about the three common scenarios for acceleration. For easy understanding, perhaps you can think about you seated in the car and the first scenario is when the car is accelerating. In other words, in layman term, that means the velocity is increasing or it's like speed increases in a straight line that means the car is moving in a straight line there's no change in direction so in other words the acceleration will be greater than zero positive now what do you mean by that for example if i were to give you acceleration of the car is two meter per second square what do you mean by it in layman term so you have to understand this that means to say in one second the velocity or in other words the speed of the car increases by two meter per second that means the speed increases by two meter per second let me give you an example if a car is undergoing constant acceleration of two meter per second square for five seconds and the initial speed of the car that means the car is already moving and it has an initial speed of 10 meter per second so i'm asking you to find the final speed of the car after the acceleration for five seconds so let's based on understanding first we will use the formula later so with a constant acceleration of two meter per second square so for five seconds means the total increment of the speed of the velocity will be 5 times 2 which is 10 meter per second that's the total increment that's not the final speed so in order to find the final speed I need to take the initial speed that means the car already have is traveling at 10 meter per second plus the increase in speed of 10 so the total final speed will be 20 meter per second and if we were to apply the formula from what we have learned a equals to v minus u over t the acceleration is positive 2 the final speed is what we want to find and the initial speed of the car u is 10 and the time taken for the acceleration is 5 seconds so if you solve it so it will be 20 meter per second now the second scenario beside the car is accelerating the car can be decelerating or in other words the velocity is decreasing or in the layman term means the speed of the car is decreasing but in the straight line there's no change in direction so you have acceleration which is less than zero which is negative sign for instance when i say acceleration is minus three meter per second square it means in layman terms in one second the velocity of the car decreases by three meter per second so it slows down and uh, every second it slows down by three meter per second so let's give an example here so with this acceleration and the car undergo this um, negative acceleration or deceleration for three seconds and given that the initial speed of the car is 20 meter per second it's going quite fast and after that three seconds what is the final speed of the car so once again let's based on understanding the car is undergoing deceleration of three meter per second square so for three seconds so the total decrease in velocity will be three times three that will be nine meter per second so in the three second the speed actually dropped by nine meter per second so the final speed of the car will be taking the initial speed which is 20 minus away the nine therefore you have your final speed of 11 meter per second now let's apply the acceleration formula v minus u over t now take note that this is an acceleration formula because for this situation the car is undergoing constant deceleration or negative acceleration it is very important that you must remember to put the negative sign here and the final speed is what you want to find and the initial speed is 20 and the time taken for the deceleration is 3 so this is minus 9 v minus 
20 so the final speed will be 11 meter per second for the third scenario when you are in a car there can be no change in velocity so or in other words there's zero acceleration your acceleration will be zero so in what way will there be no change in velocity so there are basically two possible ways either the car is at rest not moving at all or the car is moving at constant velocity in other words the car is moving at a constant speed in a straight line and this is very important because this is consistent with Newton first law of motion which we'll cover in chapter 3 dynamics and of course there are actually one more scenario imagine you are seated in the car and the car turn uh, around a corner so when the direction changes there's actually acceleration but we'll cover this in the next chapter so I hope you have a better understanding of the various type of acceleration so this is this part of the notes hope it's clear to you